Since January 2022, transport fares have increased by a whopping 64%. And yet, there are still indications of another increment looming. Although these price hikes are affecting both private and public transport services, the ones owned by governments are not left out. Here at the Ayalolo station, prices have increased significantly. And although this service is meant to be relatively cheaper, customers are still feeling the pinch. When I picked the Chocho today, I was charged 15 cities from Underbridge to Accra. Although it's nice cities here, we still want a reduction, else it will get to a point where we can't go to our hometowns again. In April 2020, government paid the Ayalolo Transport Service for conveying essential health workers to their respective work places for free during the COVID-19 pandemic. This timely intervention was intended to facilitate the movement of health service providers following imposition of restriction during the pandemic. In recent times, when the search to find cheaper alternative means of transport is growing, there are calls for government to subsidize the cost of transport services similar to its interventions for health sector workers at the height of the pandemic. On 1st of November, we took nine cities. Before 1st of November, it was seven cities from Accra to Ashrama. Last week, under four has been increased. So we have increased again to 10 cities. The private cars and the government cars, we are all taking the same fuel. So if the fuel has been increased, it goes with all of us. It's not like we are the government, so it has been decreased for us or something like that. And so I think the government should do something concerning the fuel. Authorities at Ayalulu declined to speak on record, but hinted they are negotiating with government to find a lasting solution to persistent increases in transport fares. At the Metro Mass Transit, however, there's a seeming lack of capacity to intervene due to insufficient buses. Currently, even though transport companies have increased their prices, like you're saying, by 50, 60 percent, we are still about almost 40 percent cheaper than what you would find in, in, with the other transport companies. So our prices are already, quote unquote, subsidized. Metro Mass has been the preferred transport for many people. Now, it looks as if if we had enough buses, we'd be able to kind of take care of most of these issues going on. The price increment in other transport companies and, you know, where we are able to offload some of these burdens from people because of our price. Until then, commuters continue to reel under the present economic crisis. Judith Awuchitando, TV3 News, Accra.